All right, these Getrad 260s, getting harder to find, more expensive. So, getting needing to repair them instead of replacing them. Um, this one here I got off Facebook, off a guy who removed it out of his car. It was damaged on the input shaft. So this is what the input shaft looked like, the spigot was snapped off. So I've already changed this input shaft over. So, for splitting this case, it's a little bit of a job, but it's not too bad if you've got a bit of know-how. Um, first things first, you've got on the side of your gearbox, you've got to remove a few things. This is the reverse switch, you've got to remove that. And then over here you've got this, this is your selector shaft. Um, I forget what they're called, um, there's a little spring and ball bearing roller thing in there. You've got to pull this plug out. So you've got to knock on this, this lip here, knock it outwards that way, and then pull a spring and um, the roller out that rolls, in, like the selector shaft rolls on that. You've got to remove that. You've got to remove this bolt over here. That bolt there on the side of the transmission, that holds reverse gear in. The reverse gear shaft, you need to take that bolt off. This one, you don't need to do unless you're pulling all the gears out of the gearbox, or replacing grows or something like that. If you're um, replacing the input shaft, you shouldn't need to do that. And then you've got your 10 bolts at the back side here. 10 bolts like this, all the way around the back side. And then in front of the transmission, you've got your sleeve that holds your, um, what do you call it? Oh, your, your, your clutch release bearing. So that, you got six bolts on there, you've got to pull that off. And then on here, you've got a circlet that goes in, that goes in this groove here. It can be a bit of a bust to get out. I ended up struggling because I didn't have the right circlip pliers and I ended up just cutting the circlip off and I have to get a replacement still. That's why there's no, not one on there at the moment. And then at this stage, you can also push this. There's a pin here, a locating pin. You knock that out with a punch from this back side until it splits halfway through this casing so it's, it's pushed out. And then at this stage, you need to have a tool to, to split the cases. So I have this, I made this up. This is just a large washer. There's a hole drilled in it. And I've just bolted that pattern up there. A bit of tube, and then another washer. So you're gonna get your, your three jaw chuck, or your three jaw puller on this washer here, and then put the center of it on the end of your, your input shaft, and then pretty much you tighten it and split the cases and it should start splitting up here relatively easily. As long as you've got your reverse switch out, input shaft selector, no sorry, your selector shaft, what should we call it, I can't remember what they're called, and your reverse gear bolt and all your bolts at your back and transmission out, you should be able to split the casings. There's a good write up on one of the websites, I'll put a link in the description just so you have a bit more detailed. I just found that it was lacking a bit in some of the details. Um, and then pretty much you just put your puller on there, pull it apart, should split apart pretty easily. And then knocking it back together, I had a bit of trouble. That's why there's this notch out of the puller here. When I started pushing it back together, this here, I had trouble getting the, the um, so you got your input shaft here and you got uh, I forget what the shaft is, there's another shaft that comes in here and that's the uh, the bearing race for that. I I mistakenly took that circlip out so leave that in otherwise when you bolt it together I ended up forcing it and it started pushing that bearing race out. So that's why that's there, I had to pull the whole gearbox apart again and then smash that out again and put it back in from the inside. But other than that they're pretty okay as long as you don't force anything you should be okay just pushing it and pulling it back out and putting it back together. 
Um, if you're doing anything like synchros and stuff, yeah, refer to the description and you should be able to figure it out. But I haven't found a good video online about splitting these things. So, yeah, all right, if you've got any questions, let me know. Thanks.